hi hope you guys are doing well so today we'll be making a fan art of uh, this uh, fun one it's from infinity train i actually uploaded on my instagram and it actually got a really good response so i thought why not make a tutorial on this so uh, this is fan art so it isn't supposed to follow the proper rules of uh, 3d modeling like basically uh, we're not going to be animating it except for the eyes so it shouldn't be like this perfect thing that can be animated completely properly so this tutorial is for fan art purposes like it isn't going to be as difficult it's going to be easier and uh, it's actually good for beginners also so first of all let's go into blender a to select everything x delete everything one to go into front view shift a mesh uv sphere r y 90 and then uh, tap to go into edit mode face select mode z wireframe 7 to go into top view deselect everything b to box select just these back faces and then X to move faces and then B to box select, select and then remove the side of faces X faces let's just go into the side and as you can see these are also extra faces so shift and select both of these faces and then X delete faces so now we have this uh, quarter of a circle so let's just go back into uh, solid mode right click and chase mode it add modifier go into the uh, first of all well, we have to control A and apply all transformations then add modifier we're going to add in a, in a mirror modifier on the x and y axis so now it's a complete sphere and then we're going to add in a subdivision surface modifier fire uh, for now this just looks good enough for me so want to go into front view again now add we're going to add in one material okay and uh, it's going to be completely white metallic 0 0.1 roughness 0 and everything else is going to remain the same then click on plus again add in a second material this time completely black completely black and uh, metallic 0 0.1 and again roughness to 0 and everything remains the same again okay so ta um, tap to go into edit mode z material preview okay so now by default it has the uh, white material set on it now uh, b to box select um, Z wireframe first, then B to box select just these uh, faces, and then assign. Now let's go back to material preview, deselect it, and now we have uh, this material assigned to everything. Okay, pretty shiny, I know. So G Z and move it above, and then now uh, we're going to be creating the uh, this lower ground piece over here. So Shift A mesh plane s8 give it a new material this material is going to be this dark blue sort of color with a really metallic value and roughness to be almost zero let me just check over here oh and it's going to be obvious once we add in the light so shift a uh, area light g z and move it above change the strength to about 1000 and um, r y 90 to move it on the side want to go into front view and then g to move it on the side of this model and then shift d g g x and move it on the other side and then make it a uh, minus 90 on the y so now we have two lights on the sides and then uh, shift select the other light go and says uh, to seven clicks on seven to go into top view and then R to rotate it and now we have oh, shift D and then R to rotate it and now we have the lights on both of the sides of the model floor for some reason isn't um, oh and we have to turn on bloom and also spin space reflections and refractions and now you can see that uh, it's starting to reflect like we actually wanted it to okay um, I should have created a uh, separate uh, collection for the lights but you know let's just continue so shift a uh, mesh circle scale it to make it pretty small r x 90 this, these are going to be the eyes and then tap to go to edit mode and then click on f control a and apply all transformations on it as well three to side view and then g and move it about here go to front view uh, let's just see um, Uh, 
oops, see G and Y and move it like on the front over here and scale it again to make it smaller go to material preview and uh, give it a new material it's going to be an emission material give it a strength of 5 okay and now tap to it go to edit mode and uh, solid mode come out of edit mode now we're going to create shape pieces for it first uh, because uh, we're going to be using the same eye twice as you can see over here so we'll just create one eye first and then we can use it we can just duplicate it and it can use it can be used again so shape keys click on plus to create a basic shape key this is the basic shape of the shape key then click on plus again and we'll call this one a blink okay and change the value to one then tap to go to edit mode or to turn on proportional editing and go into edge select mode or uh, vertex select mode and then select this bottom vertices and then g and it change the area of influence of the uh, proportional editing by scrolling your mouse wheel and then move it above like this tap to come out of edit mode and then solve uh, and then as you can see that it actually moves when you change the value of the shape key you can also animate it uh, but we're going to be doing that later on so um, now we're also going to be adding a modifier a shrink wrap modifier so select the target object as the sphere and uh, keep the object to 0 0.1 and now also uh, as you can see it's for sort of uh, moving this greatly so if I rotate it and then place it over here uh, I think we need to add in a subdivision surface modifier on it as well and also I guess the shrink wrap, uh, shrink wrap needs to have a little bit more offset I think this much uh, 0 0.03 is good enough. So shift T G Z to move it downward, and now we have two of the eyes ready. Like I said, it is fine art, so it shouldn't be perfect because we're going to be only taking uh, rendering it from the front side or maybe like this, so we can actually see it. So yeah, now go back into solid mode and select the first one then shift select the second one and then shift select the last one you have to select the uh, UV sphere last one and then click on control P print to object this way now they are also printed so when I move this it also moves around with them so now tap to go into edit mode uh, now for this purpose um, you actually need to have this add-on enabled it's uh, installed in blender by default so go into edit preferences it's installed uh, it's already installed in blender so you don't need to uh, worry about that right on loop and this uh, mesh loop tools so enable it okay and then uh, go into face select mode and integrate mode select these faces then right click loop tools and click on circle now these are automatically circular in form now E to move them like so G to move them on this side O to turn off proportional editing and then E to move them downward again and R to move it like so and then scale it scale them and then G and Z to move them downward about here now the problem is that because of the subdivision surface modifier it sort of looks organic and we don't want that so control R over here and you can add another loop cut and then move it back over here then control R over here and again move it over here control R over here and then move it back so it doesn't look so organic going back into face select -like mode I think this bottom face actually still looks pretty wide so scale it even more and then click on control R over here and then add in a loop, another loop cut no sorry hell of it so now this looks actually a lot better let's just show into an interval now as you can see that uh, these black portions are uh, extending to this point because it was extruded from that point so uh, so uh, now first of all apply apply the subdivision surface mode oh. first of all we have to apply the mirror modifier then apply the subdivision surface modifier then let's uh, just go into material preview tap to go into edit mode now I'm just going to do a rough uh, bit of patching here and there you select everything go to face select mode and then C to select this part you can actually do a, a lot of the rest of it yourself so let's just uh, see to select this part this part over here see to select this part and then assign I'm just doing a rough part you can actually uh, do it neatly later on if you want now uh, we are going to be animating it 
so click on the eye first because these are the only portions that were uh, animated so while you uh, well with the eye animation selected want to shader editor one open the timeline shift D to duplicate the image shader change it to blue add in a mix shader shift a shirts and mix shader and assign those two and then a color ramp okay and connect the color of the color ramp to the factor and now we're going to be adding our keyframe so select this one while on frame one on the position click i and then click this one and then click on i again now we have two keyframes now now on frame 20 on frame 20 move this to about over here so this way now the blue color will be selected so click on i again for the position select this one there from and then click i again now when i go back to 3d viewport and see the material preview you can actually see that it changes from white to blue okay so you can also do this with the uh, shape key let me just show you on frame uh, one on frame one the uh, blink one's value is zero i click on i then on frame 20 i go frame 20 to change the value to one and then click on i again so this way whenever i move it you can see over here that the uh, shape key works so i hope you guys learned something today the fan arts are supposed to be just the simplistic things because again like i said they only need to look good on from certain angles they don't need to look perfect from every single angle so please subscribe to our channel leave a like and i hope to see you next time goodbye